As she said, my name is Coach McKenzie. I coached uh, basketball for a, a very long time, uh, both traveling and high school basketball. Coached uh, for a little bit at Minneapolis Patrick Henry, Academy of Holy Angels, uh, Minneapolis North. Um, been involved with education, and so kind of honored to be here today and spend a little time reading to you. So I'm going to read this Soul Food Sunday. This looked like a good book, um, and I think this one of the reasons I'm interested in reading this book with you all because it looks like kind of like when I was your age, a little bit like my household. So uh, we always had big Sunday dinners uh, every Sunday after church. And so we look forward to that. All right. So the, the book is called Soul Food Sunday by Winston Bingham. Put the picture here. Household. The whole family is here. Mama and Papa's aunts and uncles, nieces, nephew, and a whole lot of cousins. Everybody's showing up for Sunday dinner. We park in the driveway and along the street. Car horns beep, car doors slam, car alarms cluck cluck. The men head to the basement except for Roscoe Ray. He's the grill master. He has a spot at the side of the house. Everything needs Everything he needs is there. Grill, coal, lighter, fluid, uh, CD player, chair with an umbrella, and a tiny TV to watch football. Granny goes in the kitchen with Mama and her sisters and strap on the apron. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. No, I, I can't really see that. Okay. I don't have a good eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the children sprint to the backyard or to the great room for video games. But today, I don't go to the backyard or the great room. I follow, I follow Granny instead. You're a big boy now, Granny says. Time for you to learn. She hands me Grandpa's chef jacket, the one he wore in the army. Put this on, baby and come with me. Sound like he's about to have some fun. Oh, look at that. Granny drops blocks of cheese on the table. White cheese, yellow cheese, orange cheese, holy cheese. <laughs> we then need a lot of cheese unless mac and cheese is on the table. It's not Sunday food. It's not soul food Sunday. Mmm. Everybody likes mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like mac and cheese. Oh, we have to check you. Everybody likes mac and cheese now. <laughs> Granny grates the cheese in a big blue bowl. Now you hold the grater like this. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now you try it. I grate it up and down. Up and down. Up and down. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now, when you finish, come see me. I grate and grate and grate. My hands hurt. My my arms ache. But I don't quit. Cheese stack high like a mountain. I'm finished. Granny checks my work. Good job, baby. That's the best grated cheese I've seen in all my life. Greens is next. Granny pulls the greens from the bunch. We need to clean the greens. A whole lot of greens, baby. Granny in the greens. Granny fills the sink with water and vinegar and lemon juice. Greens got to be clean, baby. And she says, scrubbing and shaking. Collops, turnip, mustard, granny, Rubs the leaves. They squish, squish, squish. Like, like she was, uh, like she was hand washing cop clothes. I don't cook any. Uh, I don't cook Granny. I don't cook Granny Green. 
This is the only way to get all the dirt out. And then you dirt out the green ones. All right. She rinses over and over. She to rolls them together. She rips them apart. Remember, you rinse and roll, rinse and rip, baby. Now you try. I'm gonna try the green. I stand in the front of the sink. I rinse and roll and rip. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now when you're finished, come see me. I rinse and rinse and roll and roll and rip and rip and rip. My hands hurt, my arms ache, but I don't quit. Got it? Y'all still with me? Soon greens power high. I'm finished. Granny, check my work. Good job, baby. That's the best greens I've seen in all my life. Roscoe, Roscoe Ray needs help with the meat, says Granny. We're cooking chicken and ribs and sausage. A whole lot of chicken and ribs, baby, unless the meat is on the grill. It's not Soul Food Sunday. Mm. Pork rib, beef rib, hot and spicy sausage flame. She skins the chicken, she strips the membrane from the ribs, and she slices the sausage. Did you see that, baby? Says Granny. Now you try. We switch places. I skin the chicken. I strip the membrane. I slice the sausage. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now when you're finished, come see me. I skin and skin. I strip and strip. And slice and slice and slice. My hands hurt. My arms ache. But I don't quit. Soon chicken, ribs, and sausage stack up next to the sink. And I'm finished. Granny checks my word. Good job, baby. That's the best looking meat I've seen in all my life. The grill is ready, Roscoe Ray yells. He scoops the meat and in the pan and disappearing through the side door. Well, everything is cooking now, Granny says. We take a break. I take a nap. Your mama, uh, God loves what she's about to do. But you got to go outside and play. But I don't want to play. I want to make something special. Granny chuckled. Baby, every food we make is special. Soul Food Sunday is about coming together. It's about us being family, working together, a team. And we have everything, baby. All right. Then I have an idea. I know something we forgot. I say, do you need help, baby? No, I can do it all by myself. Well, I will leave you be. While Granny, it, it, while Granny naps, I'm busy brewing, dropping ice, dunking tea bags, sugaring and sweetening, lemoning and lining. Now, when I see Mama setting the, t the food on the table, I put the jug next to the mac, mac and cheese, and in greens, and ribs, and chicken, and sausage. Granny comes down from her nap. I'm finished. I tell her, Granny, sip. Is this what I think it is? Then she takes another sip and go and two more go this is the best tea i've tasted in all my life thank you granny i say unless sweet tea is on the table it's not soul food sunday the end <laughs> Another one? Yeah. Yes, another one. Wait, 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 I got a story. You got a story. No. Wait, 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 I just have one question. 
This is a super funny book. We literally read that book the other day. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, we really did. Oh, okay. It was good today too. I want to pick a book. I want to pick a book. I want to pick a book. Let me pick a book. This one. This one. No. We got a whole bunch of people picking. Oh. I'm going to get it. No, Eva. Just let it. Okay. We're going to vote. Which one we want to read? That's this one. Space one. Space. Space. Which space. one? Space. space. All right. I think you lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to read. Okay. You can get that one next. We're going to use Hold Them Close, A Love Letter to Blank Children by Patrick Dow. Yes. When happy things come to you, hold them close and never let go. Hold them, hold on to that one time when it's just that, that you just knew you had slam dunk the sun. Keep feeling its fire on your fingertips. Hold on to new eyes, eyes you've just met. Eyes that have stars and wonder in them. Eyes like yours. Hey, Coach, can you show the picture here? Because we got people watching online. Okay. Yeah. And hold on to eyes older, wiser, and warm that somehow never lost those same stars. Got a few audiences here. Hold on to the smile of the loved ones who just got free. A smile bright like a moon reborn. Hold on to the freedom glow. Hug, hug and hold on and don't ever, ever let go. Hold on to the good tastes and good laughs on your tongue. A dinner that fills up every part of you. Pass the food and pass the joke. Hold on to the memories you'll pass on to those on to. Hold on to the stories the grown folks tell of your greatness. Of emperors in Wall Street, of kings and Malcolms, of Idas and Sojourners, of Huey and Asada. of fighters and ports, of change makers and the truth tellers and the first ones to break through. You'll need to keep those stories the same way the grown folks kept them. Close your eyes, wrap your arms around you, and hold on tight. But when sad things come, you won't want to hold on to those things. You'll feel like pushing them away. Some things you can push away. The times you lose with the memories of a win. Push a disappointment away with a dream. Let tears come if they want to. But then when you can, blank and them, blank them back. Sometimes you can imagine those sad things away. Other sad things, though, come with a sadness bigger than sadness. You can't imagine them away. When the grown folks tell their stories of great sadness, stories of the past and of today, Let the tears come. They will need to. The grown folks might need to let their tears come too. Hug someone if it feels good. Let out the sad words that, that get trapped inside. Those who love you will listen. Mm -hmm. 
Then look in the mirror and do not blank and remember, remember the children from the days gone by, the one who looks like you, don't look away, see that they're sad things. See they're sad things. And then see how they imagine to, see how they imagine you. See how they took and made joy however they could. See their eyes bright with light of a drinking gall. Those stars twinkle in their eyes. See the glow of the sun on their faces. And they sing freedom, freedom in the streets. The same sun shines on your face too. See the young people like you today reaching to the sky, the sun blazing from their fingertips. They're shouting that they, they're, they're shouting that they, that you, that we matter from your heart, shout it too. We matter. See then, see the swirling black winds of their hair and yours. See how the faces from the past light up the kid. See the way your light, that you light up the world. See, see their might, their brilliance, their voices, their sadness. See then, remember them. Hold them close and never let go. Thank you. I still have Thank it. You. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that's about. Them. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I have one question. Yes. How come I didn't eat marshmallows on post the YouTube video on it wasn't Facebook page? So yeah. you don't eat marshmallows yeah. on Soul Food. So Saturday. I only got it. Oh. Eat them on Soul Food Saturday. Oh. <laughs> I only got like halfway through Soul Food have? Sunday and like the last one. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So they we, should be every Sunday. Oh, um, okay. I I, I always uh, when I was a kid. Oh, I did the we all Soul always Soul laughed Sunday, because okay. just not live streaming. We, we always had two meats so on Sunday, YouTube, and I thought of a lot of other families. So we would always we have okay. chicken and ham, um, <coughs> uh, take a string beans, yeah. yellow yeah. rice, or pigeon peas and rice. I grew up in Miami, Florida, and my family on my dad's side is from the Bahamas, so we would have uh, pigeon peas my and rice, collard greens. Uh, but it was always a big thing, and just like the Soul Food Sunday book, aunties and cousins and everybody would be uh, after church, pull up in the yard at the house, and some folks, uh, the older folks would be out in the backyard, uh, sitting under the tree, kids be running around, um, you know, grandma, grandma was just like their granny in the kitchen, in the command center. <laughs> so you had that down there. Yeah, I, yeah that, that's when I saw that book, I was like, I want to read that one, because oh, yeah. it, it just made me feel like that. Yeah, yeah. Miami is all year round. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, every, every Sunday was uh, Soul Food Sunday. And, and I think that's some of the, you know, like, it's a good book, but I think that's a lot where kids miss the, you know, these days of just sitting around. And I mean, obviously you get a chance to, hear the stories of the elders and who's doing what and who did what and all of that kind of stuff. And we just we just don't have that much anymore just, uh, okay. in our family. Yeah. One of the meats was a rooted was it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to the Bahamas? Oh yeah, I mean, we, we go quite often. I got a trip planned for the summer uh, to go back. So now that I have grandkids, we want, we want the grandkids to know the heritage and what have you. Yeah, so we take them back. Yeah. I think my daddy went to the Bahamas before. Your dad went to the Bahamas before? I bet he had fun. Yeah. Good food. <laughs> Great food. Excuse me. Yes. What is, what is the Bahamas? Is it like a just pooling and there's a thing? No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's another country in the Caribbean island in the, uh, off of the coast of Florida. It's because it's, it kind of sounds like a, a pooling. It does. Yeah. Well, you know what? When you when you're in the hot beach, 
in the white sand, it feels like a jacuzzi too. <laughs> and it's a weird because they use a plural. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the beach before. I have. Well, thank you. I have one. Well, I have one.